we're watching it. We're watching Corrie and eating uh, our own uh, southern fried chicken. So all getting a bit much for Rana in Coronation Street as she struggles to keep her relationship with Kate a secret. But will she come out fighting or stay loyal to her family who disapprove of her newfound love? Whatever you think, I am not gay or bisexual. Woman, you're as cold as ice and then... Tell me not to marry him, and I won't do it. I know it's me. Don't marry Zidane. I love you. You ready? You were great today. You're not too bad yourself. I am. I'm in love with someone else. Work tells me you got home sick, and you're not answering your phone. You're not pregnant, are you? I had an affair. With a woman, they've made me an offer. Enough money to open my own cafe if me and you stay together. A year. I'll do it for a year. Who plays uh, Kate and Rana? They're both here now. Love Welcome. Love you're it. holding on to each other, Jim. Right? <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 It means a lot, and to see it in its final kind of edit is quite exciting. Well, you did us. quite a lot of research on this, didn't you? Yeah. Um, when um, Kate, oh, it's our producer, she actually um, approached me with this storyline 20 months ago now. Right. So it's quite a long time ago, and she said, "How do you feel about your character turning gay?" Um, and I was, the la that was the last thing I ever expected because Rana came in as quite a vivacious party girl who was a complete man-eater. And I said, yeah, I'm completely on board. Um, I just wanted to make sure that it was played out in real time. Mm. And I said, if we're going to do this, we have to do it right. And actually, some of the research you did, the amount of heartbreaking stories oh, of people yeah, in similar um, situations. There was one um, story that uh, really, like, it was quite a big storyline that mm. kind of came out to me. There was um, a, 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 a doctor called Nazim Mahmoud, uh, based in Birmingham, similar age to myself. Um, he, uh, his parents confronted him about being gay. He was in a relationship with a man called Max Oxton, and um, unfortunately, when, he, uh, when they confronted him, they didn't accept him. And he sadly took his own life. And however, and his uh, fiance Matt Oxton, set up the Naz and Matt's Foundation, who are helping um, parents accept their children mm -hmm. and uh, who they are, really. Because that's the thing that sort of where this storyline appears to be going. There's this sort of contract now, and the marriage yes, kind of contract. Yes, the marriage of MOC. Yeah, because it's not just the immediate family that's unaccepting of this. It's it's more but for the community. To yeah, I think from... it's the same face in the community. So. If, again, through research, I found that people do have the marriage of MOC, which is a marriage of convenience, they call it, and the contract's been drawn up, and Zidane has agreed to the contract because I think he's so devastated by everything that's happened to him. He's lost both his parents, mm. his his granddad had an affair, and he felt like this is one person that was special in his life has also betrayed him. Uh. Um, so I think he's done it through anger and accepted it, and through guilt, Varna has just gone along with it. Yeah. And so... Um... For you, I suppose, really, because she was much more aware of her sexuality, mm. um, and it wasn't this sort of slow discovery, um, that uh, that it, life is slightly less complicated. Absolutely, and I think um, Rana has opened Kate's eyes to this world that she had no idea what was going on. Mm. She doesn't understand her struggle, and I think that's what draws us close together as characters, is that we're kind of evolving together yeah. as well. Um, we're discovering the storyline as we go to and what happens with her own family, the information that she gives to Kate. It's just unbelievable, kind of the response that we've got too. From yeah, this. but yeah. The, you see, the thing is, you're sounding very, you know, sort of thoughtful and caring. <laughs> you kiss Sophie Webster. Oh, I yeah. know. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> <laughs> but they're both there. I'm so sorry. Yeah, they, they, yeah. they seem to be trying yeah. to make it work. Even though it doesn't feel right for either of them, it's not right for either of them, they're trying to make it work. And actually, like magnets, they keep coming back together. And we've got a clip which we're going to show you now, which is from a week on Friday. Oh, yeah, so. you haven't yeah, seen this. Yeah. No, no. Really Here you go. Oh, Sophie. Oh, my. Oh, I can't commit. Because I know deep down it's not what I want. She's lovely, but she's not you. I love you so much. I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. It's just heartbreaking to watch. Yeah, it is. I think 
he's he's oh, he's such a lovely loyal character mm -hmm. and it's such a shame that he's in this situation but there's two women like you said who are fighting um trying they to really feel yeah oh, it's, well his grandmother i think uh yasmin who's is big is a quite a calming figure i think yeah she has the voice of reason at the moment i think she her parents disowned her when she married sharif because mm -hmm. they didn't approve of him um, and I think she's just trying to be the voice of reason, although she doesn't agree with it. How did your family feel? About well, I had to, I actually spoke to my mum about this because mm. um, I'm obviously being from an Indian background. I didn't know how she was going to react and what her opinion was um, about the LGBT community. So I, I sat my mum down and I said, Mum, this is my character turning gay. I'm going to have to kiss a woman on screen. How do you feel about that? And she didn't quite understand. So I then explained to her in Gujarati, this is what's happening. This is what people are going through, and she was quite shocked by, you know, it being a taboo subject within the Asian community, even in 2018. She mm -hmm. said, if you're going to help people, then I, you've got my full support. Because mm -hmm. I wanted to know how she would feel if I was her daughter coming out mm -hmm. and being gay, as being gay. Or, um, and um, yeah. and we, we touched on this a moment ago, but who does Kate actually want? Oh. Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> and I think it's the first time that Kate's really fallen hard and fast as well. And there's no going back for her, I think. Does she have the patience? Oh, absolutely. I mean, it's obviously difficult to deal with the fact that she's married. She's already kind of chosen her destiny. But I can see it's not what her heart wants. Mm. And the heart wants what the heart wants. Well, we shall watch this story closely and see what happens. Girls, thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Really lovely to see you. Thank you. Thank, thank, you. thank you. And well done, by the way, because it's been yeah, beautifully done. Corey, you. Corey always Aww. get these ones. It's really lovely. So if you find yourself in a similar situation to Rana and you